traveling around Ontario, seeing who's who, because the guys, these gatherings, these rallies, these protests that you call them, we're always out here doing our thing, trying to wake up the people of Toronto. But guess what? It's also for us to network and get together and build something outside of here. Let's say food, off the grid, where to live, what's going on, radios. We got it all figured out in certain communities and one of the most important communities that I've seen get out the gate with this kind of stuff is Barry. Put your hands together for Barry, right? This also brings this man here who has been responsible for helping to open hundreds of businesses, Jamie Russo. Thank you, Lamont, for that great introduction. It's great to be here. First, I'd like to say freedom! Three things I'd like to talk about today. One is responsibility, two is community, and three is unity, right? So what do I mean by that? Well, responsibility, we are learning. And we're learning many new things, but we are really learning a critical point. And that's what our rights are as men and women. So it's time for us to take the responsibilities back for ourselves. The government needs to step back. We need to take those responsibilities on. Stop letting other people make decisions for us. Once you start to figure that out, you start to build your community because you get with like-minded people that think the same way. And what better way to build a community when you have a bunch of responsible adults taking care of each other, building a future for our children. Woo! By the way, happy Mother's Day for all the mothers that had children. That's us, right? So we need to build a better future. As we get together in community, we have to figure out what our obstacles are. Because one thing that we've forgotten over time is how important our community is. And we need to build that first through our families as well. With moral concepts, moral values, taking our responsibility back, putting morals back into our life, building a community. Where does that take us? It takes us into unity. Because as you build your community, you are going to join with other communities, neighboring communities, all established from responsible men and women to better the lives of our children. To me, that sounds amazing. So myself with responsibility, it was a, uh, let's see, uh, January 2021. I opened my business and I kept it open. And that's what I did. I stood up, I shut the first lockdown, that was it. I was done with it, right? There's a couple of hiccups in the road to get to January 2020, but then I kept my business open the whole entire time. I've been coaching other people how to do this through We Are All Essential. I've, I've worked with many, many people because I know the value of unity. You, our, our enemy is way bigger than our problems with each other. We need to put them aside and focus on our enemy. Our enemy is ignorance, right? We need to start educating ourselves, knowing these values and everything else. Yeah, very, very important. As we come together and unify, this is where we start to make the big change and a huge difference. So we, as the freedom-fighting warrior community, need to set aside our difference and start to come together. Who's with me? Thank you very much for your time, and uh, I'm looking forward to the next speakers.